What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for tuning into this one. Uh, today I have some information on the PlayStation camera for people to start streaming. So I got this camera from Best Buy. You guys can get this camera literally from any electronics store, whether it be Walmart, Best Buy, um, probably RC Willy. I mean, really anywhere. Uh, Amazon even has them. So they are pretty cheap, but they're, on, they're under like 50 bucks brand new. I got mine in an open box. Uh, says $47.99 here. Might be able to see it better on the back. Says $47.99 here. It was actually on sale for like $35.99. So I got mine pretty much like 15, 20 bucks off of a new price. Um, excellent condition. The only thing it didn't come with was a instruction manual or a manual box on the camera, which I don't need because it's super simple. That's actually what I'm gonna show you guys right now is how to install it. So here we go. All right guys, so this is my, uh, my gaming setup for PlayStation. A little messy, it's kind of like an office area as well. Uh, so I have my laptop here. This is so I can communicate with people that are watching my videos on Twitch. I can also uh, follow other streamers while I'm playing and I use it for a lot of other things. So here, guys, is the PlayStation camera. Um, it's fairly small. I mean, it's probably four or five inches in length. The good thing about the new ones is it comes with a stand. So you see there how I have it stand all the way on my monitor there. Kind of helps it stabilize it and uh, makes it so it doesn't move because I mean they don't really attach to anything very well. Um, this is pretty much all it is. This is what it comes with. It comes with the camera, the stand, and then the cord is already hooked onto the camera. So you don't even have to hook the cord into the camera. The cord goes into, and I don't even know if you can see back there, but it goes into your PlayStation um, in the back right next to the HDMI port. So it's fairly simple. Just pretty much a plug and play system. I'm gonna show you guys the settings you need to use in order to stream with the camera um, and a couple little nicks and nannies there that are gonna help you guys out as far as using the camera. So first things first, when you guys do install this camera, it is gonna come up with a message um, taking some pictures of you, having you move your head side to side. I already did that, so um, it is not gonna be showing on this video, but it takes like 30 seconds and it's really quick. They'll also take some pictures of you just to kind of recognize you. So the first things first, when you guys get into your settings, this is what you're gonna wanna do in order to make sure everything works 100% perfect with this camera. I'm gonna go into your settings, go into system here, and you're gonna wanna make sure enable HDCP is unchecked. Um, this kind of works as a um, blocker for the camera, and when you stream for some reason on certain applications, don't know why, Everybody does it and so I did it never had any issues so far streaming two or three games So you shouldn't have any issues either next one of the biggest things that you need to do before you even get into your camera settings As far as streaming you're gonna want to go into devices here, which is in the settings again go into PlayStation camera and Make sure you check mute or make sure you check the box on mute microphone now this only goes into effect if you have a headset of some sort that you wear that goes into your that goes into your um, PlayStation controller here, or if it's Bluetooth and goes into your PlayStation itself in the USB port. You need to have this checked, otherwise people are gonna hear you through the PlayStation camera and the quality is just terrible. After you guys have that all done, it's pretty simple. We're gonna go down here to sharing and broadcast. We're gonna go down to broadcast settings, advanced settings. Make sure you check Include video from PlayStation camera in broadcast. That is a must for the camera in order to be seen on your stream. And then um, this is kind of just a personal preference kind of thing for display message to spectator comments. It'll pop up on your screen here when people are watching you and let you know the, the comments. Um, if you don't have a phone or, I mean, who doesn't have a phone, but if you don't like watching your own streams to see what people are saying, um, you know, it, it might be best for you to do it. It just kind of makes your your gameplay a little bit a little bit less, in my opinion. It cuts the screen down a little bit, so that's why I have a laptop in order to communicate with everybody. So I don't need mine on. We're gonna go into camera video settings here, and then this is where we're at. So I have Rainbow Six Siege. In. This is kind of one of the main games I stream. And if you guys can see me here, you guys can see me on the camera. Um, it pretty much can sit wherever you want it to sit, wherever is best. Um, the position is everything everything on here really is a personal preference I would suggest lower left upper left upper right lower right um, Personal preference. I like mine on the top doesn't cover my field of view anywhere in here when I'm playing the games So I feel like it's best to go on the top, but it's personal preference Size I suggest small because it does stay on the screen when you're streaming so you want to make sure that um, 
you know, it's not going to be blocking your field of view. Um, flip horizontally, you don't need to do anything with. That just flips you side to side. Unless you want to be flipped side to side, just kind of flips you. Doesn't really matter. Um, the background, the only thing time you're going to change the background setting is when you have a um, green screen or some kind of screen in the back of you. Otherwise, doesn't really matter what you choose here. And then the effect, you don't even need to do that. It just kind of changes um, the look of the look of the video, kind of like a filter. And then your brightness, contrast, and transparency is um, honestly just personal preference. However your uh, room is, how dark it is, how light it is, just to make sure people can see you in the video. All we're going to do is we're going to go into the game. We're going to hit the share button, go into broadcast gameplay, select Twitch or YouTube. It's going to go ahead and load up there. One eternity later. So once we're here, um, you're going to want to select include video from PlayStation camera and broadcast and include microphone. That's uh, microphone from the headset that you're wearing and then the video is showing you the video on the screen of you. Those need to be selected. Now we're going to go ahead head and hit start broadcasting um, we already did the audio sharing settings I believe so we're just gonna go ahead and hit uh, start broadcasting and as you can see it says on air I'm on the top right here and we are just ready to stream so that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed I hope um, this was a kind of informational video for you guys looking to get into streaming with uh, with the PlayStation camera and like I said, you could pick uh, these cameras up pretty much any electronic store, Walmart, Best Buy. Um, Best Buy, I suggest, personally. They always have open boxes, so if you can find an open box, it's going to be cheaper. Yeah, if you guys like the video, definitely leave a thumbs up. Uh, definitely lets me know you guys care and you guys appreciate what I do. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys like, uh, like my content and like what I do. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.